I'm with uh, William Sanderson, correct? Did I pronounce that right? Yes, okay. thank you. I'm with William Sanderson right here at the Marriott Courtyard in Keene, New Hampshire. And you all know me. I'm Cece Carroll. How are you doing? And how are you doing? <laughs> doing fine. They haven't sent me home early. <laughs> so you enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. I love New England. Don't get to come that often, but uh, right. it's, it's nice to be back. You know what? I've got one question. Just one question. Because I know people have been taxing you with interviews and all this stuff. And, no, not enough. You know, picking your brain. Really? Well, maybe we'll you know, sit down I asked for the French half an director hour. how many times you've been in love. He said, not enough. <laughs> you know, we love to talk about ourselves. That's... Go ahead. I interrupted oh, okay. you. The one question is this. You've done so many character actor parts throughout your entire career. What I want to know is from the psyche perspective, those characters that you portray, are they part of your personality, like your inner personality, or do you really wish that you could own a piece of them and become that? Well, uh, I'm thinking what everybody else says, always a little bit of you, and especially if you forget, you go with what's inside you, like violence. But uh, I hope when I played Jeffrey Dahmer's father, who kind of evolved mm -hmm. into Jeffrey Dahmer himself, I hope that's not me. But <laughs> I, hope, I, I hope I not had, either. <laughs> it, it's I'm sure much, your wife hopes not <laughs> either. Well, you know, it's, it was really hard when I was younger to know when the stage began and uh, life started, but I do a better job now, but I love escapism. Mm -hmm. I love the adrenaline and I love pretending to be something I'm not, like right now. <laughs> I'm sure he's a lot like this when you're home, huh? Yeah, hey, listen, thank you very, very much. Unless you want to, you know, t hey, t bring us up to speed. What are you doing now? Well, I just, uh, it's, it's bad luck to talk about. I was just offered a part in a movie with uh, Robin Williams and uh, we have the deal set, and then became uh, the dates became an issue. But I'm a fan of his, and met him. He's very gracious, very poised, unlike me. And uh, so it, it's uh, they're shooting in Georgia, and I hope I'm there. There's three issues on every movie: mm -hmm. ego, weather, and money. And they're <laughs> all an issue here. Listen, I don't have that issue, honey. You I'm work. You have a have regular job, don't you? You have a regular job. Well, yeah, you know, my job's in the paranormal, and I and I do like ES News things and Fox TV things. It's fascinating. You know, like that's that, fascinating. But the, but the paranormal to me, so that's my day job. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, even if I get to do the Robin Williams job, what will I do next? You know. So that's the story of our life. But thanks yeah. to ever the all the nice people in New England who well, welcomed listen, us. Well, listen. Thank you so much, and thank you for. Uh, letting me do this uh, quick interview with you. And I hope you have a great time today. And thank you to Ken Burns, Excellent. who once hired me. Oh, great. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Are you ready? Thank you. Okay, great. Very much. Hey, I get to give you a call.